Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today we are back doing another Zone Wars tutorial. Now as you've seen by the title, today we are doing the settings, and uh, yeah, that's really all we're going to be doing today. Maybe the next time we'll actually be able to do the plane thing or not, which is going to be probably very difficult and all. But anyway, we're going to get in here, so the zombies don't get us, and um... Already, you just, if you're on computer, click tab or whatever you're on, just open this, go into my island. First one I'm going to do is do a game, voice chat, do it all because it's great just being able to hear everyone. Teams, you want to put that in 16 because of the item grantor. Team size, you know, just put that in 1 because it's kind of obvious. Um, class identifier, none. Spawn limit, put this in 1. After the last spawn, go to spectator. Total rounds. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put three on because usually in some wars you have about ten or so. Team rotation. I put that on just because it's kind of handy, but you can turn it off if you want to. Uh, end game on match point when no. Round start, no. Time limit. You don't want a time limit, boy. Fastest time when no. Actually... No. <laughs> All teams must finish. No. Win condition. Most runs win. Elimination sand blow. You don't need to worry about that. Last standing ends the game. On. Join in progress. Spawn in on next round. Uh, spawn location. Spawn paths. Respawn type. Individual. Island start. Do what you want with that. You can do island start. You can do pre-game location. And that's really it. Only allow spawn. Respawn if spawn pads fine. No auto start off. You can put that on if you really want to. I just have it off. Game start countdown. You don't need that. Just turn it off. It doesn't mean anything really. And uh, you can, if you're going to use points, turn that layer off. You don't need it. And that's it's just a fact. And that's all you have to do for a game. Now, the next one we're going to do is settings, time of day, default camera, all of these just put on default. Infinite ammo depends. Actually, it doesn't depend because it's this here. Infinite ammo don't want that on. Infinite resources don't want that on. And uh, you probably want to put this here up, you know, just to whatever number you want it to be. Harvest multiply. You don't need any of this here, dumb. Environment damage. Oh, oh. Ten percent on. Pickaxe on. Oh. Eliminate players. Items drop. Item pickup, yes. Respawn time. We don't have a respawn, so we don't need that. But sure, we'll just have it there, it looks like. Spawn immunity, default, fall damage, on. Gravity, normal, jump fatigue, on. Glider redeploy, off. Player flight, player? Player flight sprint, doesn't matter. None of that matters. None of that matters. None of this matters. And that setting's done. UEI. Countdown, you're not going to have one because there's no time. Uh, you can do whatever you want with these, doesn't matter. Um, scoreboard win condition, eliminations, put this next one then to health. And, um, actually, yeah, yeah, health. And we can't, we could, we could put an assist one on, you know, just to see if anyone's assisted. Map screen display, on mine I have the overview of the map. If you want to make it more like a BER Battle Royale map, if you want to make it more like Zone Wars, put it on scoreboard. No on game and call out, doesn't matter what that is, alright? You know, it would be actually nice if you did put it on placement though. Custom stuff, don't need to worry about that either. Tools, nothing there. Put your own name, put your own description and permissions, you don't need to do anything there. And there you go guys, that is the My Island settings all done. I know this wasn't much of a tutorial, it's quite a wee simple wee thing, anyone could really do that, couldn't they? <laughs> but um, yeah guys, remember to like, subscribe, and thanks for 200 subscribers, it's fantastic to be here. And uh, yeah, hello!